Grand Rising, Grand Rising YouTube. This is Stephanie, aka ED Mihas to Sababa, aka Tent to and I am here doing the monthly readings for the month of November. I am currently on the side of Leo. So, Divine Forces of Unconditional Love of the Highest Macrocosm. What does the sign of Leo need to know for their highest goal in the month of November? Ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels, star ancestors, the cosmic family. Come to me and bring me clarity.
prayers could be uh, could be you overcoming temptation, overcoming uh, codependency, overcome overcoming addictions. There could be an addiction to boarding here. I act 
definitely hold true to my values here with the seven of wands. Standing your ground and knowing that it is okay to move on. It's okay to move on. It's okay to let that love go. go. You know, that love, love doesn't die. Energy doesn't, can't be created or destroyed. So that love that was here, the love that you felt, it still surrounds you. It may have left in a physical form, but it's always surrounds you. Happiness. You have double happiness coming here. To clarify, this Ace of Swords, Spirit is bringing you in.
Says wise one, says grow within your current situation. Knuckle down, be reliable and committed. Be open to wisdom and insights from your elders, from your ancestors. Wow. And then the, and then the elder comes here, is here, and it says move beyond ancestral patterns. Okay. It says the wise one represents the wisest aspect aspect of the goddess, the crone. In paganism and modern Wicca, the crone is the fiercest, most psychic, and most aware aspect of the goddess because she has been through many of life's challenges and overcome many setbacks. And of course, as people age, if you're older, uh, you've lost a lot of people. You may have lost your significant other. And if you have lost someone, Spirit is saying it's time to release that grief. You've done your part. You did what, it, all that you knew to do, and that was enough. Don't hold any guilt. Release yourself from any guilt that you may be feeling. Forgive yourself and release your attachments to the past. Focus on the present so that you can move forward and willpower and determination and receive all the blessings that are just so ready to be poured down upon you. You know, stop punishing yourself. The crown has been through many life challenges and overcome many setbacks. On this card, the raven in her hands represent the capacity to overcome. To overcome the darker times and be reborn again and again. So she helps you to tap into wisdom to overcome whatever life throws at you. Wisdom being the information stored in your soul rather than the knowledge acquired in this lifetime. And to learn from the experience of your elders. So funny you got the elder cards. So I'm interested in what the elder says. It says the wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking commitment and reliability when this card appears you're being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation be committed to your tasks and projects it can be very easy to get bored or overwhelmed but persevere you're being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability and that is not who you were born to be so keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run and then the Elder card. It says move beyond the limitations you have been, that have been set for you by family members, past and present. Know that the energy of your spirit is more powerful than genetics and behavior patterns. So we're letting go of generational curses. The Aboriginal people are the oldest tribal people still living on the planet. Their hunter-gatherer culture and ancient spirituality are rooted in tradition and balance with the earth. So the Aboriginal ancestors are offering you, offering you not only wisdom that will help you heal and adapt to the ever-changing planet, but also an understanding of what spiritual life should be. The elder is the ancestor who comes with the message of healing change. He is, embodied, he is an embodied soul, yet he has had journeys that go beyond the physical. Therefore, he represents the reclamation of power. When he appears, it's an acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond the limitations that have been placed upon you, move beyond the grief, move beyond uh, the limiting box that religion is, and open your mind to new ways of spirit and the ways of seeing spirit and the and spirit and what spirituality is, you know, uh, versus religion. Perhaps could be, you know, uh, when he 
here is this acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond the limitations that have been placed upon you. If you have had expectations of success, failure, sadness, or even sickness placed upon you by your family, it's important to know that you are here to create your own journey. Just because they say uh, diabetes run in the family and such doesn't mean you have to have it. Doesn't mean that that's your story. Create your own story. This card represents personal healing that will bring healing to your family lineage, past, present, and future. Know that you get to decide what you take on. Here we have the lover's card in reverse with um, choices. You know, you get to decide to turn that card upright and not be in the grief of the loss of a loved one, but celebrating that memory, celebrating the lessons that it, locked, it taught you. Know, as Ed said, and also know that your ancestors are rooting for you and are sorry for any setbacks they have created for you. I strongly feel Someone that is passed on is wanting you to know, Leo, that they're sorry for, you know, the ways they may have held you back when they were here on earth. And that they want you to be free to live your life the way you've always wanted to live it. You are as young as you decide you want to be. Don't allow the time that has passed make you feel like you still can't achieve the things that you want to. No matter how old you are, you can achieve your dreams and your goals. All right, Leo, hope they help.